Vince Unlimited podcast, pod 001, beginnings. Hi, and thank you very much for downloading this, the very first edition, in fact, the world premiere of the Vince Unlimited podcast. Yes, it's show one in season one of series one. It's all one, 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 as the Queen might say when buying a book of stamps. Thanks for taking a chance on this brand new venture and for asking who or what is this Vince? Why is he so unlimited? And more importantly, where is he going with my ears right now? I really hope you enjoy what I put together for you. Now, this is my first comedy podcast, so please don't get all expectant on me and demand perfection. Remember that it takes 10,000 hours to become really good at something. So settle in, we may be together for a long time. I really hope you've had a comfort break. The problem is, there isn't an apprenticeship system available where I can learn how to do this sort of thing. Oh no, it's not like other entertainment forms. I'll give an example. Take singing, for instance. A singer can start off by joining a choir. They can hide in with the masses. Maybe get themselves some experience. A dancer, much the same. They could hook up with a chorus line, get themselves some peer feedback. Even actors. Actors can get some practice in as an extra before they tread their own boards. Doing comedy, I can't exactly approach the seasoned comic and say, you know that joke about a man who goes into a pub? Well, can I be in that pub? It's not even like traditional stand-up. Mainly because what I'm doing right now is sitting down, all alone, on the toilet. Still, they say you should play the small rooms first. They all should say you should speak about what you know. But my main career was spent in an office. All I know is how to fix a printer, fiddle my expenses, and adjust the controls on an executive chair with the dexterity of a Starfleet commander manoeuvring out from a moon base. Some comics start by drawing on the funny things that happened to them during their travels. Unfortunately for me, nothing at all happened on the way to the podcast, Mike. Yes, I noticed a small paper clip left on the floor. So a bit of jeopardy there. But there's no comedy in a paperclip, as anyone who's used Microsoft Word will know. I did hear that you have to construct a joke, but I wasn't sure how to go about this. I know, I thought, I'd go into a joke shop to see if I could get all the components. I'd imagine comedians visiting these places, buying up funny stock and then toiling away in sheds with Meccano and wood glue trying to perfect their punchlines. But when I got there, all I saw was spring-loaded baked bean cans, fake moustaches and plastic dog excrement. You can't build anything from that. Uh, Well, you can, but BBC Three already exists. I did think about getting an agent to help me, so I called one up. Naturally, I asked his name. He said, it's Mr Bond. I immediately put the phone down. I thought, I'm only just starting out here. I can't afford a double one. Still stuck, I took some advice. An experienced comic said to me, why not try some after-dinner speeches? But where do you start with that? I gave it some thought and decided to start small. So I burst into my next-door neighbour's front room just after he had his lunch, delivered a quick routine. It didn't go down well. Unlike his shabbily, that went down well. Clearly, as a comedian, I stand alone, which is never a good gig. Another common piece of advice given is that comics create their own material. So I invested in a loom and made myself a suit. But I guess that's not really coming across well in this audible production. Wearing a suit while sat here on the toilet isn't helping matters. Others have suggested honing my craft in a sketch or maybe trying out a free fringe. But I really can't draw that well and the hairdresser wasn't offering any deals. So I'm trying out some podcasting. Although this format as a medium is fairly new, I have heard that there are quite a few podcasters starting to operate in this area. Mind you, that's more an indictment on the NHS than comedy. My missus did suggest I try out a TV talent show. But I protested. I wasn't shy. Just painfully aware of the word talent in the title. You can imagine the situation when the judge says, Hey Vince, and what are you going to do tonight? And I reply in a rather nerdy accent, Well, I'm quite good at spreadsheets. No, if I had to do one of those reality shows, I'd have to call on my previous business experience and apply to be on The Apprentice. 
At least you haven't got the dilemma of what to wear with that show, have you? It's always a suit. The task today will be to perform in a circus as a clown. Excellent. I think I'll wear a suit. Yes, the suit sends out all the right messages for this clown task. You can't go wrong with a suit. What about you? Oh, I thought my colourful tie would be ideal in this task. With my suit. What about you girls? What will you wear? Oh, we thought a dress. Perhaps one that looks like a suit, complete with a little white collar and tie. But the apprentice is ageing as a formula now, so I've decided to do some amusing podcasts instead. Uh, don't worry, I'll let you know where to download them when they're ready. At least it's easy to make podcasts these days. The technology, it's right there in your hands if need be. Nowadays your phone has a recording facility, an editing suite, internet connection. A local 12-year-old willing to steal it. But at least who knows how to work it all. I admit I wasted some time and money at the beginning. It was my own fault for buying that microscope in the first place. But, in my defence, someone asked me if I was going to edit it on the fly. Caused considerable harm to that poor fly. Still, there's an app for that and he was buzzing around again after the release of the first bug fix. So, what will the Vince Unlimited podcast be all about and why are you going to return for more? Well, come on, what's it all about? Oh, I see, you're waiting for me to tell you, aren't you? Well, the plan is to be here in your ear, entertaining you with wild stories I've discovered while sailing down the Yahtzee in a coracle. Yes. The only trouble is I've never been in a coracle. Haven't been anywhere near the Yahtzee, and the less said about my sailing exploits, the better. So I have no such wild stories with which to regale you. So I have to stick with what I know. My main interests beyond writing podcasts, wearing suits and sitting on the loo, of course, are cars, motorbikes, shiny new tech stuff, and pretty much anything interesting the world can chuck at me, really. Oh, plus a bit of news and science and politics. Plus pretty much anything beginning with a V for some strange reason, except varicose veins. Also, I have clear opinions on a whole range of subjects that, frankly, I'm ill-qualified to comment on, but which I like to share anyway. And I have odd ideas in both senses of the phrase. So I plan to wrap up all these ingredients in a light basin of humour and serve it up at Gas Mark IV for your oral delight. But not everything will be packed into this first episode you'll be pleased to hear. In future episodes, coming soon, I hope to share my thoughts and my many and varied ideas, such as my take on driving, speed limits and lane discipline, and my favourite subject, shiny new car technology. Plus, I may discuss the film going experience or ponder some wearable technology, or anything else that takes my fancy. Uh, the list goes on, unlike this podcast which sadly must come to an end. I do appreciate you having taken your time to try me and my wordage out and for lasting the distance so far already. My plan is to knock these things out on a regular basis so I'm not going to be over ambitious in the first outing or my bow will be set so high I won't be able to reach the optics. Apart from that, this Lucy is starting to feel uncomfortable and the automatic door is about to open any time now. Today, we've already journeyed far and wide together. You in your world, me stuck here in this tiny plastic TARDIS. And I think I'm starting to get to know you a little. You have lovely eyes. Have I mentioned that? And ears. Yes, you have ears as well. I noticed that. I'm very perceptive. I hope you use them wisely and listen out for future podcasts from me. But that's it for now. This particular podcast was conceived, written and performed by Vince, who also made the tea. For further Vince Unlimited stuff, you are most welcome to follow my ramblings on something commonly referred to as Twitter, using the handle at Vince Unlimited, making sure you use a device that can access the interweb. For now, goodbye and press pause.